First of all, I want to say uh, how proud I am of the team and the coaching staff and how hard uh, they worked uh, and how hard our guys played. And uh, I want to also thank uh, our fan base. The Dog Nation showed up and uh, did a great job. Student body, Red Coat Marching Band, everybody did their part, did everything that uh, we could have asked. And uh, real proud of them. Uh, I'm probably as sick as I've ever been after a loss, uh, and uh, and I'm as sick about any call that I made uh, when it came to deciding to squib the kick at the end. Basically, giving them enough field position, enough opportunity to uh, get position to kick, to get the kick. Um, Not a good, not a good decision there. But um, a lot of uh, a lot of heroic play by our players, even to the very end. Uh, Ray Drew blasting through and blocking an extra point to put us in position to, to win in overtime because he just cared enough, and uh, we would have been a very, you know, that would have been a glorious way to end it for him, a senior, you know. You know, the drive prior, Hudson Mason throwing a touchdown pass uh, would have been a heroic way for him to finish his regular season between the hedges, his last game between the hedges. Uh, you know, a lot of moments that uh, would have been great. But as it turned out, uh, you know, Georgia Tech found a way to win it, and uh, we've got to give them credit. Coach, can you talk? Uh a little bit about the rationale on squibbing versus yeah. kicking deep. Obviously, well, if you if you kick deep, then there's a chance they can set up a return and take it to the house. If you squib it, it's hard to get a touchdown on the kick. But uh, you know your squib does tend to uh, end up giving a more field position. Um, I mean that's the, the difference. I mean if you if you kick deep. And a team, you know, sets up a beautiful return, takes it to the house, then there's a bad decision there. But, but we've been covering kicks pretty good, and uh, Marshall does a good job of getting the thing up and getting getting our guys in position to uh, make to make tackles. And we did all day, you know. So you know, obviously hindsight is helpful. But um, I should just let her, I should let them kick it deep and go cover the thing, and and then see what happens from there. Three times on the one, not getting points. That doesn't really hurt. Two fumbles and then the field goal down the one. Yeah, you know, we, uh, like you say, fumbled away a couple times um, and then had to end up kicking the field goal because we couldn't knock it in. You know, it was great goal line defense by them. And, you know, then, the, then they're down on the goal line and, you know, you figure they may knock it in and we rip the ball out and. Score to score a TD on that, so it was kind of an unusual day down there, inside the two or three yard line. Um, I don't think anybody would have predicted that. Mark, can you talk about the emotions in the last 24 hours post last night and then today? Um, well, I mean, obviously we would have loved to uh, been playing for the SEC championship, um, but you know that. Uh, that's not the feeling that we're dealing with now. We're just dealing with the the loss of that game, uh, loss of a game where guys, uh, you know, fought their hearts out, and you know, seniors here on their last last game here, and all that kind of thing. I, that that's the thing that uh, hurts the most. Mark, after the squib kick, the Nas Gilbert Williams and Tommy Cook had that long scramble. Mm -hmm. you know, Well, he's a good, he's a good scrambler. I mean, it's hard to keep a guy like that hemmed up, and um, you know we're we're just playing, um, you know, playing to uh, make sure they didn't, you know, throw the ball down and into that position. We played more coverage, and uh, but as we're covering, it it, uh, it creates space, and and he did a good job of scrambling. Very good athlete.
nothing more than call. Just uh, got me to play. Early on, they were still able to convert some third downs, and you guys were able to get some stops. What allowed them to really start finding some regularity there? On third downs, well, it just uh, you know reducing the yardage to third and short. Basically, they were really established their uh, their runs, you know, up the up the gut, and uh, we were struggling with that. <coughs> And when you're able to get three, four, or five yards a pop, uh, you know, it reduces that third down yardage quite a bit. So that was really the biggest issue, not winning first down. You guys were uh, kind of snuffing out a few back dive in the first mm -hmm. half. Uh, I assume they made some kind of adjustments. What, what were they doing to, to, to turn that into such a success in the second half? Well, I think you just keep, uh, you keep hammering it. And, uh, you know, sometimes you, you're just, you just got to be patient, and that's what they were able to do: is be patient with it. But um, you know, not it was not uh, rocket science. Just guys coming off the ball, and and uh, even when we did, you know, make our tackles, we weren't uh, really doing a good job of knocking them back. But um, overall, you know, I thought our defense played pretty darn good. Played good enough to win. Mark, you talked all season about the ball security, how you had fumbles, but you guys got it on top of them. Right. We did. I mean, uh, you know, uh, our guys do normally have have good ball security, and then, but you know, there's 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 fumbles. I mean, everybody in America fumbles, and uh, from time to time. I just uh, our fumbles were really at inopportune times, obviously. But um, you know, as we didn't get those points early on, and we did find ourselves in a fourth quarter battle, um, I thought our guys battled extremely well. You know, even after their kickoff that we didn't field well, and we get a stop, and all of a sudden we got a chance to go win it, and. Um, and the guys, you know, put our team in position to win at that point. Uh, so defense got the stop when we absolutely had to. And the offense, you know, went down the field and, and stuck it in there. Fortunately, there's just too many ticks on the clock. And, uh, you know, they, they made the plays they had to make. For a little bit there, it looked like it was going to be a Hudson Nicky touchdown pass when you had ended his career at Stanford. Right. Well, it's tough. You know, I just feel bad for uh, for Hudson because it should have been. Should have been. Feel bad for everybody. Y'all didn't seem to have the ability to get outside with the run as well as y'all usually do. Were they just mm -hmm. they they did a good job. Um, we didn't create the edge uh, as much as we would have liked. We ran some plays that were designed to go there that most of them cut up, but they they wanted to make sure that. Um, even if they did line up inside our tight end, it seemed like they were wanting to, you know, take the gap outside and, and force our outside plays up inside, and uh, they did a good job there. You said you were asleep at your desk uh, after the game. When, when did you know you made a mistake there? Immediately? Well, uh, no. I mean, uh, I didn't like uh, the amount of yards that they got off of it, but. Um, I mean, bottom line was when they got in position to kick it, you know, after one play. Mark, you haven't had too much time, so you had full press coming off the lost attack. Uh, is it hard to capture these guys and get them, you know, ready again? Well, right now we just have to, um, we got a, a time here where we, we, we're going to, uh, the guys are just going to spend most of their time finishing up this semester, school-wise. We won't start practicing right away. We'll be running, lifting, things like that. But they got to finish this academic semester, and our coaches will be out on the road recruiting, and um, you know, trying to get this class in, in position to finish it well. And um, and then they'll be, you know, we got to sit down and decide really when we want to uh, have the. Uh, the bowl practices, and, and a lot will depend on which bowl game we go to and, and the date of it. Is part of your deflation knowing that, that despite not getting in the SEC championship games, all indications were you had some pretty good 
possibilities right there. Mm. Uh, we're, we, you know, I'm sure as I reflect on everything, that'll come up too, but uh, I'm just mostly disappointed uh, um, that we didn't win, period. And, uh, and I thought our boys played good enough to win. Both teams did. Anybody else? Uh, at that point, I, I didn't. Uh, you know, I called for the field goal team. At that point, we had to. Have, we you know we were, we had three shots at it. I think we were losing ground, so I think we better get some points on the board right there. But uh, you know, made it a shorter range kick, and there was still some value to uh, you know getting the fake. But it'd been nice to have seven out of that. I guess that was right after the Marshall Morgan run down. Mm -hmm. Was that executed as bad as well as? In yeah, we did. We did it well in practice. It gave me a lot of faith. Just the operation of it, to you know, to flip it and catch it and doing, you know, just that part of it, I thought we did a good job. And then, you know, there were some looks at, on film that it would have been there, like it did. And there's some looks where it wouldn't have been. And and uh, you know, Coach uh, Lily, Coach Friend, uh, really studied it well. And uh, the time we called it, it was the we felt the best percentage shot of it being there. And um, you know, we could have called it off and still kicked it if we didn't get the right look, but the look was good and uh, we went with it. Anybody else? Well, regarding the Missouri, were you taking more of the kicker half from Missouri or was it a chance to give you guys a slip away? Well, Missouri did a great job to finish like they did. Um, you know, they deserve all the credit to uh, be able to finish the year and, and uh, keep winning, to, to uh, knowing that, you know, if they lose one, they're out. And, uh, you know, week by week, they took care of business. You know, obviously, we you know we we could have uh, we had a couple um, a couple of opportunities to be you know eight and zero, seven and one, and uh, be able to control it, but we didn't get it done, and uh, they did. Last question. I know it's hard to process after this, but at, at nine and three, with some of the wins you've had and the losses you've had, is there a way to kind of categorize and kind of include the regular season? <laughs> It was dramatic. I can I can say that. Thanks.